Hi, Andrew from Connected Digital World here. Ubisoft will shortly be releasing the next in their Assassin's Creed game franchise, Assassin's Creed Unity, set during the French Revolution. Ubisoft invited us to Paris to take a look at the game and to interview some of their key development people. And all gameplay footage was captured from the Xbox One version of the game. Enjoy. Hello, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us your role? Um, well, my name is Ariane Boaba. I work at the Ubisoft Quebec studio. Uh, we've worked on the Assassin's Creed Unity console game, but also on the companion app that is uh, probably the, the most awesome companion app that, that we've produced yet. Uh, but I think the best way for you to see it is for me to uh, give you a quick look. Let's do that. We've also developed a companion app for Black Flag, so this is our kind of a, our, our next installment that we've built on uh, based on the feedbacks that people have uh, have had on Black Flag as well. So um, the companion app is going to be free and available for uh, for download on all Android de Android devices, Apple devices, and Windows devices on um, same day as Assassin's Creed Unity will launch. So, uh, but. Maybe you want to know what are the details about it. So I'm currently connected to a journalist that is uh, uh, demoing right now. Uh, he's going to see a notification saying that I connected using Uplay to his game. So it's really seamless. It works with Wi-Fi. So there are two main usage of the companion app. The first one is um, like a, I, I'm showing here is the interactive world map. So uh, it works uh, synchronously with your console, so it connects in real time and have uh, real update, real time updates on uh, the position of the players on the enemy, and I can track the movements and see the awareness zones updating in real time the en the enemy the, 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 the hiding spots, but also all the missions that uh, I've unlocked. So uh, for example, if I select all the missions. And uh, I take a look at, uh, at what's available and uh, can see really what could be uh, the potential rewards on a specific mission. So murder mysteries, for example, and uh, all the chests. And uh, yeah, so it's really like having Paris in your pocket. So it's a really nice world. Uh, you can also place markers, so let's not tell him, but I'm going to place a marker uh, in this game and it's going to be reflected in real time. Uh, but this also works uh, if I'm not connected to the console. So I'm going to save uh, the last state of your map and I'm going to be able to take a look at it while I'm, I'm on the bus, for example, or at home and my console is not open. So I can really plan uh, what my next mission could be based on what's available to me. So, and based on, I can see all the, the potential rewards of the mission. So this way I can really uh, know what I could do next and place markers that's going to be reflected the next time I open my console. So that's it for a synchronous gameplay. Um, you might recognize that if you've played the, the Black Flag application. I think it, the, the, the gestures are more, much better, the controls and the, the, the look of it, it looks really next gen, so we're really proud of it. Um, but it does not stop there. Uh, once your console has closed, we wanted to offer you a way to uh, continue your progress on your mobile device. So uh, what we've done is um, we developed a gameplay that's, uh, that's called uh, Nomad Brotherhood. So you can actually uh, manage your, uh, your brotherhood. So you hire assassins and then uh, you send them onto missions. And when they come back, uh, you can upgrade their skills, make them do better, be better at, at specific skills. Uh, so this way you can do different types of missions. So it's really a management uh, game. If you played Fleet before or uh, uh, the BAM uh, and Brotherhood, so these, uh, this is uh, heavily inspired by that. So all the assassins, I can hire them, maybe they, maybe they die, maybe I have to hire some more, uh, maybe I have to heal them because they almost die. So it's kind of uh, based on the pillars of, uh, of the main game as well. So when they come back, uh, sometimes they will bring you HD rewards, like I mentioned before. So in terms of rewards, uh, we have 63 exclusive rewards uh, with the companion. So we have chests that can contain money or gear. We have new missions, so either assassination mission, tailing mission, or defend missions that uh, are triggered by the companion app. 
their exclusive bonus mission. So that means that they're, they're not mandatory. So you don't need the companion app to achieve 100%. But uh, if, for example, you're kind of, you want to have this new piece of gear or you're kind of low on money, well, uh, you can probably, um, sorry, I guess you stopped me. So uh, you can probably uh, gather some new, uh, some new rewards from the companion app as well. So this is uh, all the, the, the rewards that's available to, uh, to you, so they're based on landmarks. So every time you discover a new important landmark in Paris, around that landmark, uh, you can then uh, trigger uh, new missions with your guild and uh, have access to the 62 rewards depending on, on what you want to do first. So that's it in terms of uh, asynchronous gameplay, but we also have what I like to call uh, more uh, comfort features. So, uh, as uh, if you play Black Flag, you have access to uh, all the database entries that you've unlocked. Uh, personally, when I play on the console, I like to kill people and I like to go around. So, but, I can respect that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if, uh, if I'm on, uh, on, on the road, for example, or on the bus, well, I think that's the best place to kind of uh, take a look at all the lore, of all the richness of the assassin world, right? So uh, I can take a look at all the entries I've unlocked, uh, and, and we have a lot of entries. I can take a look also at the uh, clues for the murder mystery, so I can really, <laughs> I don't want to make any mixed mistake and accuse the wrong person, right? So uh, with, the, with the, the, the encyclopedia, the database that you have access on, on your device, well, then uh, uh, it's a little easier. Uh, we also have the gear loadout. Uh, so you can see what's equipped right now uh, on my player and see uh, if I equip different types of gear, uh, how it would affect my stats. And I also see the requirements and the lock conditions of all the gear in the game and we have a lot of different types of gears. So uh, that's good for, for management. And finally, uh, uh, a new thing that uh, we've, uh, we've developed for, uh, for this uh, particular companion app, it's called Heat Maps. So uh, we track a lot of data on, the, on all the Assassin's Creed game, and uh, we wanted to kind of uh, have a look on, on uh, how it reflects to uh, with the with the, the community data of the players. So, for example, here the the game I, I, I've been connected to. Uh, I can see the community's players pack in Paris right now. So uh, it's not in real time, but almost. I mean, you have to kind of crunch and analyze the data and then uh, put it back in the, in the app. But uh, you can see specific players pack and, and different patterns as you see. So a lot of people probably are on the HQ right now, maybe trying to do the, the social club mission and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, increase their money. And I know a lot of people are trying to maybe try to find a way to get into Notre Dame to uh, kill survive, right? So uh, it's reflected on the companion app. So as, as soon as you unfold new areas, new data is going to be available. So this is a player's path, but uh, we, we don't only track player's path. We also track um, desyncs, kills, uh, when you're detected, uh, most money gain, and also the creep points. So for us, it's more like a planning tool. Uh, and it's also uh, global, but uh, separated into uh, sequences. So uh, you can really, we're kind of nice, we spoil you, spoil you one sequence in advance in terms of data. So uh, you can actually see where uh, most people have died in the, in, in the next session or been detected. And you can place markers to hopefully uh, not go that way or maybe or maybe do go that way if, you, if you're into uh, that kind of, if you're more broader. If you really want to go in there and hope yeah, for the best. Yeah, why not, huh? So, uh, so yeah, so that's it uh, for the main features of the company now. So the app's free? Yes, it is. Um, and it will be available the same day that uh, Assassin's Creed Unity ships? Yes, it's going to be available on Apple devices, uh, Google devices and also Windows Phone and Windows app on both phone and tablet. Excellent. Can't wait to play it. Thank you very much for your time Thank today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link on the screen now. And we have some more Xbox One Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay for you too.